we kind of wanted to stop the project after we had finished the model and it quite worked quite well in face verification and recognition but uh, we wanted to try out deployment and uh, so we did we used flask a little bit of javascript and uh, ajax to for the server front and back end communication and uh, built a simple interface using html in order to do the same so yeah he is a demo of the same um, actually i started the server over here or the flask uh, application in this case this is the face recognition site project this is the app.py which contains most of the important information and the most of the code in it yeah and uh, the models are stored inside that the r face model is stored inside that right now um, yeah so it's i'm in this head, uh, socket right now and uh, yeah first i'm choosing phase one yeah uh, and I upload it. So once you up, once I upload it, I can go and see that it has been uploaded as phase one over here. Yeah. So right here, right. So the second phase is the phase which I uploaded. I mean, the previous attempt, or you know, after I upload the second phase, I can come and see over here that it it's indeed the second phase. Yeah, you can see the uh, name over here. So it comes in the uploads, and then when I click verify, it passes it through uh, the embeddings I got, and then it is verified right now it is the same people so yeah okay and uh, we could also try another different set of faces so we could try this and we could try this guy so, uh, i mean uh, even if it is a image of different dimensions say not 112 cross 112 it uh, resizes it of uh, in the pre-processing before it uh, you know actually processes it and gives out the result so yeah, yeah they are different people and does it gives a uh, different people as output uh, so it works pretty well as expected so yep um, that's it for now i guess and uh, the templates have the base and the index indexes the this whole thing uh, yeah to just to make it cool we added also this tall thing that's it for now thank you for viewing our project uh, we hope you like it